does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was. Ollie Oxen. I just told you. That's who I think I am. What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. We're here in the networking space of our new studio space. The previous owners had a hole in the wall and there's four ethernet ports upstairs. They come down to this point and it was just a mess. So I went out and I got a wall plate with six jacks in it, two of which I use for the coaxial signals. I actually have one more coaxial cable running into a mechanical room. Plans of one day maybe actually having a server room in there, but for right now, this is gonna have to do. And I also have the four other ports for the ethernet jacks upstairs running down here to connect to the modem slash router. Only thing is, as you can see, it's a mess. And if you know anything about me, you know that presentation is key. And I always wanna make sure that the cables are managed. I don't want the cables to manage me. So right now the network is relatively simple. Um, we got the router going into our switch, uh, our Philips Hue Hub. The MyCloud might not make it. It fell the other day because I decided to anchor this IKEA shelf to nothing but the drywall and not actual anchors. And it fell. It cracked open. I don't know if the hard drive's broken or not. The lights still function. Everything turns on, but I'm not able to really access my file. So I got to troubleshoot that. But in the meantime, it's not going up on the wall. Also on the network, we're gonna have my cloud key, which runs all of my Unify security cameras and the Unify switch, which provides PoE power for those cameras. Also, we have the printer and I run Octoprint on my End of 5 Plus. So that's a decent amount of networking. I want it to look the best that it can to actually wall mount all of this stuff. Most of them come with little holes in the back that you can screw screws into the wall and hang them on like the switch, the power plug and the Philips Hue Hub. But some of them do not like the cloud key and our router. So for the router, I went on Thingiverse and I don't remember who the creator is. I'm gonna put it up on the screen, but they designed a mounting bracket for this router specifically. And the person that designed the mounting bracket for our cloud key. So I'm gonna use that to make sure that it's as clean as possible. But as far as the cable management is concerned, that's where I stepped in and wanted to do something extremely custom. Went to Home Depot and bought some of these cable staples. Now that's what I put the existing coax and ethernet cables that I have running up with. And I like them, but they don't expand to include more cables than just one, maybe two. I finally planned out the wiring diagram for where every cable is gonna go. And if you see here, there's a couple runs where there's at least five or six cables that need to be tightly pressed together. And this isn't gonna cut it and have it look clean. So I hopped into my trial version of Fusion 360 and I designed a couple of brackets. Now, typically you would use screws to put these brackets in, but I'm gonna actually take the direction of the cable staples from Home Depot and I'm gonna use finished nails to attach them to the wall. Um, they'll create much less of a mess while I'm attaching them and they'll look a lot cleaner But yeah, these are really cool. I got them in different sizes. They range anywhere from managing one cable up to six I think that's about it for explaining what it is I'm going to just get into it and then at the end hopefully I can explain everything and See how it turns out Let's get to the time-lapse
So we're finished. Everything went really well. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. The brackets printed out just fine. They mounted really fine and the custom brackets that I designed worked to a T. As I was going through it, I realized some of the cable connections didn't make the most sense in the world. So our main source for the internet is coming through this top coax, which is going into our router. The router then goes into our switch and also goes into this jack that I have upstairs for the mesh Wi-Fi system. This port also goes around into the office, which goes into another switch that powers the computers that are in my office, including my main computer, the server, all types of stuff. So after it leaves the router and goes into this switch, we also have the Philips Hue Hub, the Ubiquiti Cloud Key, and we also have the Unify switch plugged into our main Netgear switch. Now, coming off of the Unify switch, we got the two ports that go to the 3D printer and the printer, the regular printer, yeah. And I went and got a six port power strip mounted it right here to the wall so all the power just kind of goes into the side this isn't the most elegant solution i think i could have done but for this first iteration i thought it was pretty decent also this power strip goes over there to where well, over here to where the two printers are and also the lights on top of the printer so i can capture time lapses when very even lighting even when i turn this main light off so one thing that I did mess up on, first of all, I put this four port ethernet jack into the wall in hopes that one day I can have an electrician come out and hardwire power over ethernet cables for the exterior camera systems. And I'm crossing my fingers that they'll be able to terminate them all here. But the idea was to have all four of these going into the PoE slots on the switch and they curve kind of like this and the other ones into these four ports here. But that didn't happen, but that's not my biggest issue. I got really excited with cable management and ended up connecting two of these switch ports to the input, to the input of another switch. So quick side note, as I'm editing here, I'm realizing it's not too errant cables is actually only one I'm realizing that these two that go into the switch one of them actually carries a signal from this switch into this other switch so the only one that doesn't really make sense is probably the second one in the unify switch whereas I was not completely right I also wasn't totally wrong just wanted to point that out yeah let's just get back to the video which does absolutely nothing. Uh, if you don't know anything about networking, it looks cool, but if you're relatively familiar with IT, you'll probably look at that and think pretty stupid. I wouldn't disagree with you. I'm not an expert at this, but I'm gonna leave it right now because I don't have that many things connected in here. And I like the fact that the lights light up just adds to the effect. But yeah, this is, this is my home network. It turned out pretty well. The 3D printed parts that I used, including the two from the creators on Thingiverse, I'll link down in the video description. Also, if you would like my custom cable mount that use finish nails for the wall, they'll be available on my website, arisha.tech. And they'll also be available on my Patreon, which is coming soon. Stay tuned if you want to support me there. But other than that, I appreciate you checking me out, checking out my cable management obsession. And I think that's it. So if you liked it, consider leaving a like. If you disliked it, I'm the only person that's going to know. And if you really rock with me, consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.
You still here? All right, comment hashtag AO so I know that you are here. I'd appreciate it. <laughs>